Welcome to Cadnison's Clips. The following clip will give a demonstration of AutoCAD Plant 3D manifold piping. We begin with our piping model and we zoom into the work area and hide objects that we don't require for this exercise. Today we'll be using carbon steel 150 pound spec to run a DN100 coolant supply to the three plate heat exchangers. We'll place butterfly isolation valves against each of the plate heat exchangers. So we open our spec tool palette and select butterfly valve, confirm our size and identify a new line by entering our unique count ID. In placing the valve we're also installing gaskets, flanges and lug bolts. We orient the top works as we place the valves. Now we're ready to run our line. We have node and perpendicular object snaps set and we're using object tracking. We'll click on the flange that's been placed after our valve, continuation glyph, hover over the perpendicular snap on the header above and drag out our tracking vector. Now we're again for the vertical leg, hover over the perpendicular snap on the header above, enter from, drag down our cursor slightly, to 300 and that'll give us a 0.300 millimeters below the header above. Now we can drag our line through to the corner, select the IP point for our tracking vector and we can continue our line further but we'll leave it here to be continued at a future time. Now we run lines from the second and third plated heat exchanges. We'll be presented with two options and we'll select the second option. That'll give us a nice 90 degree bend. All our piping componentry is now connected and we have T's at our branch connections. So our, our line is complete. And that concludes this manifold piping demonstration. Additional Plant 3D demonstration clips are available from the Cat Group website. Thank you.